everyone, it's Rachel here, and as promised, today we're going to play with these. Oh, I did this yesterday. Um, I got the Quran Dash, uh, what's it called? Um, crayon, and I um, did circles, and then I went over it with um, water, uh, with water, and that's how it turned out. Just to show you, oh, that's a scrap. Right. So we've got all of these to play with. And let's have a go. So, what have I got floating over here? Well, this is, oh, I folded this. I'll show you how I folded. This is just a old piece of paper. It was a bookend. Or was it part of a document? You can see kind of like a seal there. So what I did was I folded that little bit over, folded it like this, tucked that, and then this. No, that I just tuck in there. No, the other way. I just tuck it in there. And it's kind of like a letter. I think that's a really fun thing to include in a journal. I think I tucked it in the other way. In here. Because that one's a bit wider. It is a bit of a fiddly thing to manage and grab that and just I might decorate this up the front here let's put something on here right and we're going to use something of these as well so I might take I might even take a bit of this document stick that on there here goes so how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We are well. It's pretty warm. It's not too bad. It cools down at night, so that's good. Um, but hot in the day. Hot, uh, you know, it's under 30, but hot. It's get, You know, it's building up to it. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to find... Maybe I'll add another piece of something. So I'm going to keep my background pretty neutral, I think, methinks. And, oh, I haven't done that yet. We'll put that over there. It will keep it pretty neutral-ish. Maybe a bit of... I probably don't... Just a minute. That's a nice thick paper, isn't it? These are the... I'm just going to use those for other things, I think. That's a nice piece of paper. Okay. And I mean, you could really go to town with it. You could put a seal on the back if you wanted to. Put that there. And then find maybe one that's on, because I've got the script there, maybe one, I need a small one, that's on book page or ledger. Oh, do I not have any? Here's a small one, but that's on the same paper as that. I don't want that. Okay, well, we might tear one of these off. Where do I like it the best? Now, I've got some birds cut out here, and I also wanted to put a bird on. So I could have my bird coming in over here and like that. Let's see this bird. Or a bird facing the other way. Like those colours. So I did pre-cut them out. I think maybe that one. That one. That's the same paper, isn't it? I had said no to that. Or maybe this one. That's it. I like those colours. Cool. So I'm going to glue that there. Okay. Oh, there's so much fun to be had. The reason why I'm pausing is there's all sorts of things pop into my mind. Stay there, glue. Do as you're told. 
And I'm going to put my bird on, but I will snip off the tail a little bit because the bird is going off the scene, going out of camera, off the page, should I say, not out of camera. I might go out of camera. I have some unhappy viewers. Oh, I love that. Oh, that really makes me happy. It's something different to what we've done before. Really makes me happy. Right, I still feel like it needs something else. And I think, or a stamp. Let's have a look. They're not stamps. These are stamps, I think, in this one. And let's see what colour stamp. I don't want anything too colourful. I want to stay in the tones of what I'm doing. These are really nice blue ones, these ones. It's too big and I need a more solid colour. There we go, that answers that question. A more solid colour. We could have the Queen. Oh, I like the Queen. I'm going to put the Queen on there, I think. Unless I come over here and I love these Dutch stamps as well. That might be a better colour. It is. Okay, no, I'm saying bye to the Queen. Bye-bye. See you. You may pop out another day. So it's a mix of printed things and original. A bit of hand painting. And I'm a bit scared to ruin. This might soak through, so I don't think I'll use that. No, I don't think I'll do any mark making on this one, but we might in another one. Cute. I wonder if I need a little something down there. Let's just audition. So the plan has come to fruition. There we go. Pretty happy. I would need something very small. No, I think I would leave it not have any labels. Just a little stamp. There we go. And look at that. And then, I mean, you could stamp. Where is that stamp? I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over there. You could stamp. I'm not going to do it. But you could stamp something like this on the reverse side. Could be cool. But I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it. Because it's meant to be a journal spot. So that's the first one done. That was quick. Okay. So that's that journaling spot. Then we can also do... Uh, a bag let's do a bag so um i find my bits and pieces and you don't have to do birds you can do flowers or whatever you like you might try a flower after i don't know maybe maybe not let's put that there let's see and i've got some packaging or i've got some straw paper Oh, sorry, guys, I'm just having a giggle. So yesterday, Steffi was coming down the stairs, and Lulu says, Lulu and I said, oh, here comes Mr. Mister Magoo. <laughs> he doesn't know who Mr. Magoo is. Does everybody remember Mr. Magoo? Anyway, um, and it was, I don't know why we said it. It just it just came out of our mouth, and and he he didn't understand what we he said, and he said, oh, that's so funny. You just called me Mr. Magoo. <laughs> didn't call you Mr. Ragoo. We called you Mr. Magoo, you silly goose. Oh my goodness, we could not stop laughing. He is Mr. Ragoo. Well, no, I make the Ragoo, but anyway, he, he's a pretty good cook. So, oh my goodness, Lynn and I couldn't stop laughing. If I put that like that, I don't know if I'm so happy with it. I'd like that more if it had writing on it because I've, I've taken the bit without the writing. So, yeah, so now we call him... Um, um, Mr. Ragu. If I put that there, I like that better. But let's see how we feel when we add something from here. So I don't want to rip up all of them, but I do have these small bits. 
I love those colours actually. I do like that. Let's glue these down because I am liking that. Oh, if you heard that, that's just the wind. I had to close the bathroom door because I had the window open there and I could hear this awful music. Someone had their music on really loud, but it wasn't nice music. I didn't like it. It wasn't my taste. And I didn't, I thought, gosh, if, if YouTube can pick that music up, I might, I don't want to get, you know, into trouble for copyright or anything like that, you know, with having music on and especially music that I don't enjoy listening to. So I shut the door, but I didn't shut the door properly. So there's a little bit of a breeze and it's just doing a little bang every so often. Now I'm wondering before I stick that down, if I want to put, do I have that? Oh, here we go. Here it is. Maybe even a little bit of script somewhere. No, I think that's too much. I think we'll put that there. It's a very simple little formula there, isn't it? It's not too complicated. And then we're going to find a birdie. Uh, I need one facing the other way. I, don't, I need a big bird. That's what I need. But I like it. I wish it was facing the other way, the, the bird. They're all facing that way. Just a minute. I have these two, but I don't know if they're right. We'll see. So that one. No, it's not right. These birds are the good ones, I think, for this. So if I put that bird there, I sort of feel like this one needs something else. What other birds do I have in here that are cut? I don't want a red one. That's that one. We'll keep it out because I might need to use it again for a different one. I have this one. Oh, I quite like that one with those colours. I'll pull that one out again. It's the wrong colours. And that's all the, the cut ones. I don't think I want the red one. The, if, well, it's not red, it's like a salmon-y sort of colour. So I could have this bird, but I do feel like it, it does need a few more things. I could put that bird there and it doesn't cover all my colours. Or I could put this bird there. To bring it down a bit to there. Um, I think I'm going to have this one. Okay, I'm just sliding it around to get it in the right spot. Now, where's my little card gone here? I've got two flying around on the table. So I, um, I should be able to find at least one of them. So that's that. But then I'm going to um, add Tracy labels. Like it's, like it kind of like it's a little, um, something like this, not that one. I think one of these, that one down there, look, and that's even got the color of the, can you see, am I on screen? Yes, it's even got the color of those that I painted. So we'll put that one down there and then I need another one. Oh, unless I were to put one of my stamped ones that I stamped on book page, they might look nice. Let's just check one of those out. So this is definitely good down here. I like that. Another thing, you, you could do some script stamping there, like before you glue anything down. That's another option. I might not do it because I've got a bit of a mess and I don't want to pull everything out. That's a AliExpress. Um, I don't want to pull everything out, so um, I might just suggest, you know, variations that um, could be added. I don't mind that one. I might like this one. No, I don't like that one. No. What about these with the paint on them? No, they're too big. 
that answers that question. So no, it might be a Tracy label. Yes, I think it will be. They're all too big. They might have been good, but they're too big. Okay, so let's go back here. And what I would like is one of Tracy's vertical ones, but I don't know. Let's see what I've got left. I, I wanted to go into a, maybe a colour. It's not vertical. There would have to be one in here somewhere, wouldn't there? Oh, that one's a good one. Keep that one out. That one's too big. I don't know if I want red. I would like a blue one, but I don't think I've got a blue one. Not a vertical blue one. I must have used them all. If there were any. Got a lot of red ones. So that's a good one. We'll audition that one as well. Yeah, we'll audition those two. Put those away after. Um, scissors. That's what I need. I might stick with the red. Am I recording? Oh, yes. Yep, the red one. It's a better shape as well. So put the green one away. And we'll glue down that one. And that is done. And there we have a decorated bag. I love that. Put a little strip of something across there. Anyway, we'll leave that for now because we're moving right along. Uh, I also that's an envelopey baggy thing. I also have these bags. One of those could be good to do. Let's do one of those quickly. Um, so I've got one made, and just looking for something different to put on. I've got this bit. Of something that I had printed. I don't know if I've got, I don't know if this one's in a kit or not, but I could have something like that. I'm liking the colours. I'm, as I said, I'm keeping it quite, keeping it quite neutral. Could use up that. Yeah, I like those two together. So let's glue this one down first. Oh, I can hear a bee coming. I hope it can't get in. So I've got this fly screen on this window, right? But it doesn't go all the way to the top. So I have the blind down a little bit. But they could, you know, discover the way in between the blind and the the screen. In the, get, you know, get through the gap. And then I'll get all freaky because I, I don't like being stung by bees. Look, it's buzzing around there. I may have to get up and close the window. I was enjoying the, the fresh air. I'm going to close the window just a sec. Didn't have to go far. Okay. Just call me Freaky Rachel because that's what I am. Now, do I want to do that or not? Because I quite like the colour of this bag. Someone sent me these, I think. Me thinks. Now... Let's have a little looky look what we have here. I love that. Oh, see, I quite like that there. Let's put that there. I'm covering up the bag. I told a pork. Oh, I told a porky pie. My old boss in um, Sydney when I was in my when Steph and I lived in Sydney in the early two thousands, um, he used to say porky pies. He was a funny man. I enjoyed working there. Right. 
Oh, look at that. Look at those colours. I love that. Let's just audition a few of the others. Oh, I like that one even more. That one. I like it more. I love just all oh, how it's the colours. It's the colours that are getting me going. That's what I'm enjoying are the colours. So much fun. Now, I did say we might try one with a flower. I don't know what flowers I've got flying around, but we may. I need to do some more painting, I think. I'll use these up in a flash. And let's see. I do feel like a little labelly something does finish them off. I think red would be nice with this. Or something like that. Oh, let's cut that one out. Cut the white off so we can see. I forgot to have breakfast this morning. I went to the supermarket. So I'll tell you something funny. So this is, I, I pretty much, um, we didn't bring everything over here, obviously, because we're moving back. We did store as much as we could down in our cellar, in our storeroom sort of thing. It's not a cellar. It's not like a wine cellar. Yep, I like that one. Um, so <laughs> I did give my husband to help me out the task of um, boxing up his clothes. So... Um, Lulu and I brought our summer clothes over and as it's warmed up, my husband's gone to, steffi has gone to look for his t-shirts and his, you know, <laughs> and he couldn't find them. I'm like, what do you mean you don't have any t-shirts? And I said, we brought our summer clothes over and he's searching and searching. He's like, I can't find them. And I, and then I go and he's drawn and I said, cause you know, he's, he's, He's a typical male, my husband. He's like, he'll ask me where something is before he's even looked for it. And and I always tell him, you're being lazy. And um, like he'll open the he'll open the drawer, hasn't even looked yet, and he'll say, where's the potato peeler sort of thing. You know, or where's the wooden spoon? And he hasn't even looked yet. And it's right there. And I always find everything straight away. That it's, That's just how it is. Anyway, so I go to his drawers and I'm flinging things around just in absolute disbelief i'm like you're right there are no t-shirts so I, I i said well they must be downstairs in a box you know because lula and i had our clothes downstairs in a box and so we go down and and i can't find them anywhere he didn't bring any summer clothes they're down in our cellar somewhere in a box i'm like i remember him packing his box i can't believe he took them down to the cellar and he said well i didn't think i would need them i'm like well you're a goose it's hot so I've got these from AliExpress. Let's do one of these and see how these turn out. So I had to I had to go and I had to get him a couple of t-shirts. Oh, that he can always do with new t-shirts, so it's not the end of the world, but um oh my goodness, I just couldn't believe that he oh I love that. I'm sticking that right there. I think because the colours turned out so pretty because um now who did I see that I don't know, many, many moons ago, someone said you know when you mix your colors if you i don't even know who would have told me that um i mean i even just like that like that um but you just you put always use a bit of the other color and you'll find that the colors always work really well together they just blend let's see what else we can use it's kind of like they are hoardy i do i do feel like i want to hoard them i'm going to put that one there isn't that terrible? So I think I need to just sit down and paint many, 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 many. So then I feel less likely that I need to hoard them. I'm strategically putting it there so I can still see. I love that um, stripey bit there. Okay. And I won't you. I'll just do a couple of those. Now, we could go, look at, look how dark my fingers, they're all black. That's from all the glue. That is from the glue. It just all gets stuck in my fingers. Now, I was using these ones. And they could still be nice on there. It's just that I have to, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, <coughs> oh, that came on all of a sudden. Excuse me. I apologise. Um, I'm not going to stick those on there. I could have a more, 
upright sort of bird. I'll cut one out and just see how it goes, but I don't want to cover it up too much. But then I was thinking I could have flower. I could just even leave them as they are because I just love them even just like that. I've gone off screen, I know. Here I am. I'll come back so you can see the fussy cutting. The whiz cut. We're doing a whiz cut. A whiz a woo. <sighs> Flick it over there. Oh no, now I'm going to have a sniffly nose. Sneezing is not good on camera. Apart from giving people a fright, if it does, you get the dribbles. It's a terrible thought, isn't it? Sorry about that. It's a bit graphic. I might have to use my dry wet one over there. I wonder if I might just snip those leaves off instead of worrying about them. I'm just going to cut a bit more off here. Snip, might even snip his claws off if he's not careful. Oh, look, just snip that off. There we go, that's better. Oh, and then I've got a pointy bit up there. I don't like that. Okay, I just think, thought the colours might work really well. Maybe on that one. Okay. The dribble is real. Okay, so guys, um, so I'm not mad about it. It's not really working for me because I love my the painting so much. So let's see what else there is. Flowers. Let's go to Flowerland. Not bright flowers. And we don't want anything that's too complex to cut out. These are good. Oh, that would be lovely, that one. I can see the colours. I'm looking at the colours. That one's good. Okay, let's see. I'll just be very whizzy. I could even, if I were a nice person, I could um, pause the video and cut them out. But this one I don't think will take me too long. I've got a few bits internally to cut out. But as you can see, I do whiz around a bit. I mean, with this sort of background, it is optional whether you want to cut those out, but I don't want to, I want to see some of the, the background, so I am going to cut those two out. No, I don't mind it on that one, but it's not my favourite because it's covering it up too much. So then I think this one's going to be, well, it's just, I'll cut around the outside and I'll only cut the inside if I think it's going to work. I mean, I, it's because I think I am liking them quite a lot. I'm cutting the leaf off um, without anything on them. I do like that one. I knew that those colours would work. So now I am going to, I'm not going to cut them all out, just a few. This sort of makes it less um, sort of dense looking. I don't know, does it explain it? Yes, that one's a go. And on there, on oh, I like it on there. Did I not put any glue under there? I think I like it more on that one. Okay, let's get some glue on it. I have 
haven't been on AliExpress for quite a long time. I might slide it down there and grab this. I really do need to go and wash my hands. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Do I want a little piece of this? Maybe not. quite like it there. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one. Okay, over here. Let's try this one. I didn't like that one. That one wasn't working. This one's really easy to cut out. You don't have to go in to too many difficult spots. Oh yes, that's going to be lovely. Okay, put that one on there. Okay, and I think that's all. I really like that. I don't think I want any of that. Want anything like that down there? No. I think I'll leave that. I really like that. I'm not even going to put a label on it. Cool. Now, one other thing I wanted to try. So the flowers are good. The birds are good. I'm sure the butterflies would look nice too. I just wanted to go into my ephemera box here where I'm keeping my real stuff. And maybe just do C. Oh. See, look how nice that is now. I'm going to fill that up slowly. I don't know why I put it there. I just dumped everything. I don't know why I get precious about this stuff. I have quite a lot of it downstairs. Now that, look, that's just a little grungy bit of writing. That's a, that's, a good, that's a good little journaling spot to add to a journal. Well, that's an old postcard. I don't know why that's in there. More of that. See, look at this. Someone's written on that. And then we've got this. That's cute. Let's just pull a few things out. I pulled out things all the same colour, but that's too big, I think. Let's just pull out that one, maybe. I don't know. Got that lovely old <coughs> postcardy sort of thing. Excuse me. That wasn't very nice, was it? <coughs> okay. Um... I don't think I want that. Put that in the flowers. Flowers, you go up there. You up in the flowers. Let's mess over there. Got a bit of script. Um, bit of, you know, book page, I want to say. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Not such a clear idea, but we'll see what happens. Where's my other? Oh, that's my other florally sort of one, but that's big. I would rip that. We don't want anything too big. Oh, I love that. It's just I want to keep it all. Look at those. So this is going to be, just a minute, this seems to be, yes, it's one piece. I just want to fold it a little bit better. It's going to be like a backwards journal card. There, I like that. I'm liking it. I like those colours. Like that. Oh, this colour combination is one of my favourites. I 
think I'm going to glue those down. Yeah. And you can, you can, you can, if you don't have, um, you know, sort of this sort of original bits and pieces to use as well as the digitals, you could have some scanned bits um, and use those. Just grunge them up to your liking, print them on, you know, as I said, very lightly tea dyed paper, I think would be ideal. Um, I haven't I haven't printed on my um, tea dyed paper just because it was quite um, sort of too heavy too heavy a color more of a color than what I wanted so I hadn't bothered um, tea dyeing on it I think these birds are wonderful for this um, that guy I mean you don't even have to put anything on it I'm just I'm just auditioning for the sake of auditioning I quite like that one. Look at this flower. Now that I cut it out. Oh, I quite like that. Or nothing. I could just leave it. Sometimes leaving it is not part of my vocabulary. <laughs> oh, I think I like that one. That's it. I'm going to put that one on there. I'm sure you're saying, no, just leave it, leave it. But I won't, because I'm, you know, it's just not me. I can't remember where I was going to put it. I'll just put it there. And we will just put a little bit of something from here. I do love these. Um, That's really nice, but that one's too big. I like the ones that have a bit of colour on them, Tracy. I like them when they've got the little bit. I quite like that too. With, you know, they've got the little bit of like, um, looks like it was old sticky tape or something like that. So I'm going to cut a few out just to audition them. I love that shape with the cut off corners. That's why I always cut these ones down. You could just cut them around rectangle, but I just love those snipped off corners like that. This one might be too big. I want to put something down here, I think. Something like that. That one. That one. I quite like that one. I think that one. That one's too big. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. And and this is not... I don't think this piece here is particularly antique or anything like that. I Well, it's old. I'm seeing a... It's looking like it's from the 40s or something like that. But it could be from you know, the 50s or the 70s. It's not that old. But it's still got somebody else's handwriting on which we like. There we go. That's just going to go tuck in a pocket. Look. Oh, is that meant to be a bird? Someone did some drawing on there. It looks like it was going to be a bird. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, and then I have this little piece. Um, but this is, I don't know. That could just go in a little clustery thing, couldn't it? Oh, well, we could just grab something from here. Um, what would we grab? Maybe that. Oh, I love the little ones, not that one. Um, no, I chose not that one just because it's too small. Um, maybe take something like that and that. Just make a little cluster. Put that, 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 and what else? And just maybe, um, I can't think of what I was going to say. Clip them. 
wonder if I would tear that one down a bit more. Oh, look at that. I like that. That will go on something bigger. Oh, we could have a strip of this. Why don't we have a strip of this? Oh, we've got the script right in there, don't we? Um, I like that one too. That one. Maybe we'll just... Oh, I like that. Oh, well, that would be nice. Now, how am I going to connect all of those together? Paper clip. Because I don't want to put a hole in them. I don't want them to be permanent. I just want to put them in. Oh, these are big ones. I've got a gold one in here. We'll just use a gold one. They're all tangled. Well, that's no good. I don't want tangled ones. Oh, I like these paper clips. I'm just going to put that together. That's just going to stay like that for someone else to enjoy. Look at those colours. That's just inspiring. That's like a little, like a little mood board. I like that. I mean, if you were doing like some sort of envelopey sort of thing, you could just oh, I like that. Just clip it onto the envelope for someone to have a play with. I love that. There you go. There's an idea. Okay, let's have a look at this one. I love that. Which side will we use? I think I love, I like this side. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't want to cover everything up, do I? See, this one I think I would tear. Well, let's see if I've got a narrower one. Because I would tear off that extra bit there. This is cool. Maybe a piece of this. I don't know. I mean, I don't know land. So you could just have it coming off the edge. Oh, I like that. We'll have that coming off the edge. Coming off the edge. And do we want any of that? That's more circles. We don't want more circles. Uh, do we want... That's a little one. Just trying to see if I might like to add just a little piece. No, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to add that there. So let's just, you know what I'm going to do? Rather than use my glue, just because um, I'm not putting it um, right on, I just want to smoosh my glue around a little bit because I can control better where it goes. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Oh, we do have a little piece here if I wanted some script. But I feel like it doesn't, I like, I'm liking, even this is like something from, I don't know, be from the, you know, 60s or something like that. So I'm just liking the font on it. So I don't really want to put, you know, super antique things. Not that bird, but we're going to find a bird for it, I think. Oh, I love that bird. What about some, some book page? I don't know. Oh, I have a piece of this more modern sort of book page that I've showed you before. It's very brittle. I'll just tear a little piece and see what would I like. I feel like I've put, yes, 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 that's it. Yes, hello, thank you. I guess it's a bit more in keeping with the times. And we're keeping, you know, we've got some of the font showing, but not all of it. We've made it a little bit more interesting, I think. Me thinks, me thinks. And if you wanted to, you could cover the reverse side or just write on the reverse side. Some sort of form. I need to slide my birdie down a little bit. Yes, this is good. Get my card. Help me stick it down without sticking my fingers on it. And I am liking that. I need to get some glue under here. So I didn't glue it right to the edge. 
and that's that side and you can do writing on there that's that side now does it need some sort of oh i had some cut out didn't i what did i do with them i'll have to tidy up here now won't i because i can't oh there we go i was wondering i think that might blend in a little bit too much no i don't think so it would have to be a mini one if i chose to have a a label it would have to be mini that's too big that's not too big let's see Oh, so much fun. No, no. I think I would like it down there. So I think I'll just, I won't cover up the Roma. Or would I like it up there? No. There, there, no. There, it has to go there. I maybe should have chosen an even more mini one. And there we have it. There we go. Done. And I'm just going to snip the corners. Just pop in there. Let's give those a snippery. There and there. And I don't know why you're not sticking. It's very cheeky. But there we go. So much fun with the painted papers. Okay, so quite a bit done. So that's a journal card. We've just got a envelope -y thing here to play with. I just think, I just like the colours. I find that inspiring to look at that. I just keep it like that. And then I've had this piece of ephemera here that someone was drawing a bird on it, which is incredible because I didn't notice that. And I made it, I just decorated one part of it. And so that's a very nice journaling spot for a journal. Um, very simple. Excuse me. Do we like that? Oh, I think I do. I think I like it. Excuse me, I'll just add. I'm adding to that one. Got a third element onto it. There we go. Lovely. So we did um, the AliExpress. Aren't they lovely? I love the colours. So pretty. Oh my goodness, I love this bag. I'd forgotten about that one. And then this envelope. And then this was the folded in the old style, just a plain piece of paper. It's printed on newsprint. And I just think that's a really nice um, journal spot. And then, oh, this was the one I did before I turned the video on. I haven't been so confident lately. I've just been feeling like I had to make one. I didn't put enough glue under there. I have to make one before I do my video. Sometimes, you know, normally I just do it. I just turn on the video and off I go, but um, lately I haven't been doing that. So there we go. So quite a lot of birds, a couple of flowers, but super fun. I, that is one of my faves, I think. Let's see. I love that one, but I love the colours in that one. And I love these. I was a bit unsure about them, and now when you sort of put them aside and then you look at them again, and now I love them. I think they're really pretty, and I love that. Love that. That's almost a fave, and I didn't even do anything like that and I love that so there we go super fun have a go give it a whirl and um, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow